Okay, let's see if the uh, longer length of pole and the higher rings help me avoid the kiss of death. Much better. So, uh, welcome to Yukon and North 61. Some of my subscribers have commented on how ugly this rifle is. So this is a Tika 30-06 uh, in a MDT uh, Hunt 26 carbon fiber stock, uh, which is 26 ounces, which is the folding stock. Uh, I also got it with the Arca compatible forend. So you can see one of the really great things is I now have switched from a tripod or from a bipod to a tripod, and that's extremely steady. It also works as a really good, uh, very, very low, as instead of a tripod or a bipod. So I'm liking the steadiness of this. And with this uh, Jim White head, if you tighten that up, you can basically hold the weight of the rifle at the uh, balance point. So. That's a, that's a pretty interesting, I'm gonna do some practice with that. I like that, I like that a lot. So how is this MD-26 uh, working out? I'm, uh, I'm quite liking it. Um, with the high rings, the uh, ergonomics is very, very good. I really like actually this, uh, this hand uh, piece here. Very nice, very nice. Um, and, I've had to extend the length of the uh, pole, um, gone with the high rings, super strong, super light, 26 ounces, and uh, really, really steady uh, as far as this, uh, this folding piece goes. And again, once you've folded this down, um, I am really impressed with how easy that is to carry with you. Like, it's now 33 inches or so, maybe a little less. And when you put this right beside your um, right beside your pack, you notice it doesn't go past my head. So this rifle is going to come with me on all my little trips up in the Alpine where I have to go through woods. It's about 7 eighths of a pound heavier or 5 eighths of a pound heavier than the Forbes as configured. But it's worthwhile in, in, the, uh, in just having that uh, lower uh, length. And handiness also really handy for if you're in the tent and you hear uh, something go bump in the net at night when you're in a 33 40 inch tent and you have a 46 inch rifle it's really hard to move it around this thing is small enough that you can really point this from inside the tent um, so very very pleased very very pleased that it's a 30 odd six because you can get 30 odd six ammo everywhere if the world goes haywire it's nice having a little thing you can grab and uh, I've got three magazines, uh, five shot magazines, and uh, 30 out six is available everywhere. Pretty, uh, pretty handy. I'm really, uh, really happy with it. The only thing I don't like about it is how expensive it was. But I sold some gear. I'm selling some more stuff, so I'm actually money ahead right now. So uh, again, thanks for watching. A lot of times you read that these uh, chassis uh, have an increase of accuracy over the factory stocks and uh, although I really like this, I haven't found that to be so. I, found, I find that some loads it shoots better and some it shoots worse because this is a totally free floated barrel unlike the original Tikas that have a little pressure point. So the harmonics is a little different. So 220 grain uh, Hornadays for whatever reason, even with factory ammo, I'm getting sub MOA. Some of my other uh, loads that, that uh, were really, really good are not as good. Some of them were, that weren't as good are better. So I'm just going to have to retest a little bit because the harmonics have changed. And I think it's probably just as accurate. I don't, I don't know if I believe those accuracy improvement claims, but it's certainly not worse. It's just a little different. It's much, much easier with the higher scope mounts. So this is Stavall 6.5, 200 grain bullets at 2520. And the great thing about these Leopold Buna Crockett scopes is that when I go to the small uh, arrow at 2550, the ballistic reticle works all the way out to 500 yards. 
I also put some more spacers in to give me a longer length of pull. So this is a lot better to shoot right now than it was. So here we go. 